Welcome to the podcast, folks. We're diving into the concept of physical AI transforming manufacturing, um, as America's biggest opportunity. That's right. And we're really talking about a revolution where intelligent machines not only talk, but actually perceive, decide and act in the real world. Exactly. It's like, it's like the next industrial revolution is already underway, combining robotics, AI agents and, um, even the mm. US-Mexico corridor. We're talking about leveraging a $2.9 trillion opportunity that directly impacts our economy. And did you catch the economic impact stats? Manufacturing contributes nearly 10% to the US GDP, and wait for it, each dollar in manufacturing output generates about $2.64 in overall economic activity. Absolutely. And it's not just about dollars. There's also massive job creation. Every manufacturing position ends up, um, supporting almost five additional jobs in other sectors. Yeah. Now that's a multiplier effect you don't see every day. True, but there's a twist here with the dual crisis. Labor shortages with over 415,000 current openings and projected millions more unfilled in the coming decade versus huge cost pressures like those wage disparities between the US and Mexico. Right. The wage differences are enormous. US wages average about $35.30 per hour, while in Mexico, it's roughly $4.10 per hour. This really sets the stage for reshoring and nearshoring discussions. It's a competitive edge mm -hmm. that's getting sharper. And speaking of reshoring, integrating the USMCA and policy tailwinds, like the CHIPS Act, has really catalyzed massive manufacturing projects and private investments, over $600 billion, they say. Yep. Plus there's that exciting innovation triangle. Silicon Valley driving physical AI software. Texas powering specialization in EVs, aerospace and semiconductors, and then Mexico's robust supply chain in auto, electronics, and aerospace. But um, don't you think that sometimes this narrative oversimplifies the challenges? I mean, it's not all smooth sailing when integrating such diverse ecosystems. I'd say that's a valid point. There are real challenges in aligning policy, capital flow, and talent. But there's also huge potential in new business models. From AL orchestrated factories to robotics as a service, which offers subscription models for SMEs. It really opens up mm -hmm. avenues for innovation. For sure. And those investment opportunities are staggering. Markets looking at a potential $127 billion valuation by 2030, not to mention rising funding in startups with nine figure rounds in robotics and related technologies. Exactly. And when you combine technology convergence with global shifts like tariffs, and fragile supply chains, the demand for nearshoring just yeah. skyrockets. It's clear that physical AI isn't an option. It's the only viable path to remain competitive. So the message today is that US manufacturing powered by physical AI is set to be a major economic driver, blending innovation, policy support, and a dynamic cross-border ecosystem. Absolutely. The window is now, and for entrepreneurs and investors, it's a call to shape tomorrow's industrial platforms today. And that, my friend, is the story of how reimagining manufacturing could redefine global leadership in the next industrial era.